Casa. Come vediamo. Hey guys, this is Will with Cash Roll of Disaster and today I'm going to be doing a very special unboxing of Dinosaur Dracula's Fun Box. Now, I've done this before where I ran in Vigi Macab and uh, this is kind of new to the Cash Roll and I'm very excited because I love subscribing to things like this. You can have the most shitty day in the world and you come to your mailbox and all is right with the world. I also like supporting my friend's websites and how he comes up with this stuff inside this little box is pretty amazing. I don't know who he knows or how he acquires it. Quite frankly, I don't want to know. But um, what we're going to do today is we're going to take a peek at what's inside the June box. Now, July is going to be announced pretty soon, and you can go over to his website, dinosaurdracula.com, and get previews of what's in this box. I choose not to do that just because I like to be surpri you know, surprised. But if you're ever curious about the sort of things that are in here, um, you can go over there. You can sign up with PayPal. Um, it, it's a great thing to do. It's a fun thing that he gives back, and for what you pay, you get a lot more for it. So now I'm done yammering on. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we are going to see what's inside this box. So as you can see, e sorry about this. You can take a look at see. I mean, it's crammed full of stuff, which is really cool. I will give you a heads up about uh, this fun box. There's things that are kind of cute little snack foods that you can eat, and there's some stuff in here that is not meant to be eaten, uh, <laughs> especially cereal from the 80s, or you'll know, you'll know. Anyway, so as you can see in this box, it has a ton of stuff, so we're going to go through each one of these things real quickly and uh, see if it can link into any memories that I might have whatever's left. Let's get this out of the way. Trolls. I hate trolls. I've always hated trolls. They were really popular back when I was a kid and they used to come on little pencil toppers and kids used to do this and get the hair all crazy. I think that these things are devil-eyed, black-eyed, soulless little creatures that just, they're naked and they're just, God, I hate them. I don't, uh, I don't wish these things on anyone, and and just, I don't know why I'm like making this big scene about trolls. It's just they're just the most freaky thing. It's kind of like going down the rabbit hole of the web and finding the most deepest, darkest, grossest thing in the world that just makes you feel like you have to shower and it puts that weird tint over the whole day. It's like watching Seven all day long for me. Every time I see a troll, that sort of thing. And I think that they made like a real life, real size TV show of them, which is just as disturbing. You want to talk about Garbage Pail Kids the movie? That version is what trolls are. They're just, I don't know, just hate them. Oh, you remember what I was talking about? Don't eat, you know, certain things in this box. This is one of them. This is uh, from the 1989 uh, Michael Keaton Batman, uh, Tim Burton film, and they had cereal. Uh, there's a specimen, just like Dinosaur Dracula always has, is you know specimens. You know, whether it be a little film sleeve or uh, you know uh, a piece of long forgotten food. This is one of them. It's kind of neat. It comes in a little specimen container, and uh, like I said, don't eat. I remember Batman cereal being on every single box, and uh, or no, a box of that cereal being in every grocery store. It was crazy that you couldn't not find Batman cereal for at least the following five or six years. Now you can go to flea markets and, and probably find a sealed box in cellophane or eBay. They're not too hard to find, but I definitely, <laughs> I don't know, to each his own, I guess. Ugly pet things that you can go, you know, to, to Toys R Us and find these little collectible things. The one that I got is, uh, God, it looks like a preemie puppy sitting in piss. Piss in the ass! I don't know. 
Uh, it's, oh. Hey, like I said, T zero. Um, Airheads can't be pretty rad. This is pretty cool. Now, this, these are the things I'm talking about with Dumpster Dracula. I don't know how he comes about it, but it's enough to pack in, you know, quite a few uh, collectors boxes uh, and subscription boxes. Um, made by LGN. If you're unfamiliar with LGN, they make really shitty video games, but they do make some pretty cool toys and collectibles. This one right here is from E.T., Steven Spielberg's movie about E.T., extraterrestrial. This is kind of funny though, he kind of looks like he's on the phone and he's telling somebody to shut up and he's flicking them off from behind him. We all know it's his big healing finger or whatever, but this one just kind of looks like he's, if he was driving, he's flicking somebody off in the rear view mirror, I don't know. It's cool. It's definitely going up on the, whatever this stuff is of, of collectibles. Ah. Trading cards. Every box of the Dinosaur Dracula subscription fun boxes comes with a plethora of trading cards, which I think find really cool because growing up, I always had baseball cards. Like I had so many baseball cards. I don't know where they are right now. Um, and I also had Star Wars cards, but for whatever reason, it kind of flipped off my radar that there were trading cards for everything. Um, but yeah, these are kind of cool. So as you can see, American Gladiators. When are they going to bring that back? Um, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. One of my very first VHS movies that I got. Watched it a million times. Let's to see. Um, He-Man. Troll. Pogs. I think I missed, missed the boat on Pogs. They were never really popular where I was going to school. I don't really get what they are, what they do, or the value in them. If anything, they look like just circle pieces of cardboard with somebody's face on them. Um, when I grew up, kind of the, the weird thing to collect and, and do was uh, yo-yos. <laughs> it was huge in my school at that time. And man, there are a lot of missing teeth and black eyes from those things. It's pretty rad, but uh, these are kind of cool. Um, I have a few of these things from uh, from previous subscription boxes, which is um, postcards with the Garbage Pail Kids. I have a love-hate relationship with Garbage Pail Kids. They, uh, I mean, they're, I love them because they remind me of a certain era. I hate them for what they are. They're just kind of gross and I don't know. Like anything, one of my favorite things is uh, you get a nice little postcard of art that uh, Matt comes up with. Uh, just seeing right here, I mean, sharks in the water, dinosaur looks high, eating green ice cream with a Cyclops on. I mean, that is exactly what, and that is the fun of Dinosaur Dracula right there. Um, and of course, you know, not to be uh, forgotten, it, crap. So I, I kind of did this box backwards. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to dig down to the bottom and you come up with this Dinosaur Dracula's Fun Pack Newsletter. This is June 2016 edition. And as you can see, it has a brief description of the things that are in the box. Um, and of course there's you know the monthly art challenge that you can use on the back of this and send in. It's, a lot of subscribers are very funny people and they come up with some really funny things. I haven't done that yet. I should probably do that today. It's kind of rainy and crappy today, so what else am I supposed to do? Kind of a newer thing, which I love, is excerpts from Matt's diary when he was in the seventh grade. And you know what's really funny about this is reading it. Um, you can see that even as a 13 year old, he was a very talented writer, which pisses me off. I hate people that are good at everything. Fuck you, asshole. All right, guys, so that was the unboxing of the Dinosaur Dracula Fun Pack for June. You can subscribe to any one of these at any given time. Uh, you just go onto his website and underneath the Fun Packs on the side little scroll bar there. Uh, you can click on that and see past Fun Packs and then you can sign up for the new one coming out. I highly encourage you to do this because, man, you get a whole lot for not too much. And uh, it's really fun. Some of these things that he comes up with are really surprising and uh, they can be yours. So, 
I'm Lil with Casserole Disaster. Thanks for hanging around with us and I look forward to what he has in store for July. Which should be coming up pretty soon now because I'm about two weeks late on doing this. So, awesome. Be well.